biochar can be a very useful thing in your whole gardening journey because it have many super powers that can help our plants and in this video we will discuss all about biochar its benefits uses for plants its side effects and much more so keep watching this video and do subscribe to our channel Biochar is a black colored charcoal like substance but it's not charcoal it's also known as biochar fertilizer but again it's not a fertilizer a fertilizer is something that provide nutrients to the plant but biochar provide no nutrients it's a soil amendment useful for many things one of its main quality is its ability to store nutrients in it for the future use of the plant biochar is made by slowly heating wood in low oxygen environment and then it's crushed into required sizes It's also used in power and heat production fields but in gardening it's used as a soil amendment. There are some unusual things biochar does for our soil and plants. Let's know them one by one. Its first quality is to hold the nutrients from the fertilizer or soil and provide it to the plant in future when required. It simply absorbs the nutrition and holds it for the future use. Another benefit of biochar for plants is its ability to improve soil health and structure. It's highly porous which is best to make the aeration better. Also the drainage will be good. Another benefit of biochar is that it regulates the pH not specifically but generally it makes the soil a little alkaline which is best for certain plants or for an acidic medium. Biochar is also a source of carbon that is important for bacteria as well as for the soil. It promotes the bacterial growth in the soil. Also the carbon rich soil have a more stable pH, better water retention, more hold on the nutrition etc. So this thing is super useful for a plant. Another benefit of biochar for plants is that it's best for beneficial bacteria. Bacteria loves the carbon rich media and this way our soil media would be more organic and nutrients enriched because of these bacteria. So again biochar is useful. Using biochar in the soil of a plant reduces the chance of diseases and pest making the plant stronger inside overall it also makes the plant disease resistant not directly but indirectly biochar also improves the overall growth of the plant by helping it in certain ways overall using it could be very fruitful so subscribe to our channel for more such videos The market board biochar comes in unactive form and activating it is important so it don't suck all the nutrients from the soil making it deficient. Activating biochar will improve its working even more and it's super easy to do. You just need to put it in a liquid full of nutrients and that could be compost tea, mustard cake liquid etc. I am using compost tea. To know how to make compost tea at home, you can follow our video linked in the description box. Simply soak it in this liquid for one night and the next day our activated biochar is ready to use. Now if you want to use biochar for plants there are several ways to use it proper application is the key to get most out of it so focus the first way to use biochar for plants is while reporting or transplant while doing the reporting you can simply make a layer of biochar at the base of the container this will enhance the drainage and when the plant becomes stable it can provide a nutrients to it You can also buy a good quality biochar from the description box link with biochar the state of transplant shock will be over soon and new green growth will appear Another easy way to use biochar for plants is in the potting soil while preparing a regular potting mix you can add around one part of biochar in nine parts of your soil mix don't use more than 10 to 15% in the potting mix this is enough to supercharge your soil and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos Another easy way to use biochar for plants is while compost making. In your compost pile, you can add up to a handful of biochar and once your compost is ready, your biochar will be in it making it even more better and useful. To learn how you can make compost at home using kitchen waste, follow the description box video. And once your compost is ready, you can use it for any plant like the old way. Another easy way to use biochar for plants is to use it as a mulching material. You can make a thin layer on the top of the soil. Don't add a thick layer. Your soil can go fully alkaline that might be bad for your plants. So simply make a thin layer and now it will dry slowly and also the microbial life down in the soil will be better. Another easy way to use biochar is in the seeds media. The ideal ratio would be one part of biochar in five parts of seeds media. Seeds requires a very well draining and soft media to grow in. That's why biochar is very useful for seeds. You can plant any seed in this mixture, care properly, and their germination rate would be much more and better. You can use biochar on all type of plants. Either it's a flowering plant, a vegetable plant. or a cacti or seeds of any type just follow a proper method and don't overuse it to use biochar for succulents and cacti plants the soil recipe video is added in the description box you can follow that 
There are a few side effects of using too much of biochar for a plant that you should must know. The first drawback of biochar is its toxicant due to the poor quality biochar. It's a natural and an organic thing, but its processing involves steps. While this, it can acquire toxic elements, and using such a poor quality biochar can be harmful. So buy a good one from the description box link. Another side effect of biochar is the nutrient imbalance. If you focus, I ask you to use proper amounts in each way of using. That's because it's useful, but overuse is not good. This can cause a nutrient imbalance. Another thing is the raised pH. Commonly, the biochar is alkaline, but overuse will make the whole soil alkaline. That's not good for many plants, so use proper amounts. There is a detailed guide in the description box about different kind of soil amendments, just like biochar, but with different superpowers that you can learn about. So it's all about biochar for plants. Here is a detailed guide on making a cheap seed starter at home if you like to watch. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.